Let's go to Jönheim. We'll blow the tits off that thing and go home. I love things going wrong in movies. I love characters who are Let's go. starting to get things going and starting to work things out. Oh, fizzle sticks. And then all of a sudden they screw it up no! way worse than it would have been without them ever being there. Two, one, go! I remember writing that sequence and going, you're gonna hate yourself six months from now because water is the biggest pain in the ass to work with on set. And I wanted to do it all practically. We didn't want to do it with visual effects. We really wanted the actors to be caught up in this river of water. We looked at the whole sequence and we go, okay, well, what can't we do? Clearly, wide shots of a building with the visual effects. But anything other than that, we try to figure out how, from a rigging sense and a design point of view, we can do it for real. Ready and action! I mean, we shot a whole sequence in a real life sort of what it would feel like, you know, water and tilting sets. Action! We built a set that could fill with water. Yeah, he's really freaking the fuck out. The whole water sequence at Jotunheim was incredible. You had hundreds of gallons of water. 2,000 gallons of water. 50,000 pounds of water. I don't know, 60,000 tons of water or something? It was insane. Gallons of water just, like, throwing you around. It was Dan Sudik and his wonderful special effects team who put this all together for us. We explored building a giant gimbal on stage full of water, and the studio was like, no, you can't put that much weight on our stage. So we had to back into how we could get the shot and how we could do it on stage. And what we came up with is a large dump tank above the set. Then the set itself was built as a dump tank. The bottom tank held the 175,000 gallons. All right, let's bring the water. We had pumps in there. We could pump 18,000 gallons per minute back up into the set so the water would flow continuous. We built the dump tank with four hydraulic doors and we could hit them with just a little bit or we could open it all at once and have a big ferocious water dump. I am standing inside of our Jotunheim cubicles office set. When we first started in here, this was dressed with about 100 cubicles. Everything was personalized with little details about every little worker that was here in our cubicle set. Who's Milton? What? I don't remember any Milton. Fuck! And then after the shooting company did that scene and they left, we came and brought in these partition walls that run the entire length of the cubicle set to hold the water and keep it from expanding out and hitting all the sides of our stage. Set. And three, two, one, go! Special effects drops water there. It hits this black ramp here, shoots the water down the alleyway. Uh, 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 blows Harley Quinn back. And then we rigged this back wall piece as a breakaway wall piece that special effects pulled out to let all the water go and everybody rushes out and goes over the edge. Then we built the office space that would slant. We discussed whether or not we had to put all this on a giant gimbal and have it all slide, or the plan that we ended up coming up with was we rebuilt this office cubicle set at an 18 degree angle. We hung it 25 feet up in the air. It was an engineering marvel. All the actors, everybody strapped in with, with safety lines, and we did the run up the 18 degree slant with water coming down. Run! It was difficult, but they all got up there and ran and, and, and jumped. There are things like Xerox machines, paper cutters, water jugs, staplers, calendars with pictures of kittens on them, all bombarding their way towards me. Okay, cut. We ended up getting so much of this in camera so that visual effects has to do very little to actually complete the scene. I hope that people come up to me and say, wow, that was CGI, right? When you got slammed with water, when you guys were hanging off that building, and I can't wait to be like, no, we did that. You know, everything was practical, like everything 
that you see on screen, that's how we shot it. It was a pain in the butt to shoot because you could only shoot a little piece, a little piece, a little piece, a little piece, and then it has to be built into this extraordinarily gigantic scene. But I think that ends up being one of the more fun sequences in the movie. Yeah!